Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our next maths lesson on fractions, where we will be looking at converting them again, but this time in the opposite direction. So we're converting from mixed numbers to improper fractions. Uh, to start with today, remember to convert this to Roman from Roman numerals to Arabic numbers, and then here's your target. Here are your six numbers that you can use to get there. Pause the video, have a go at that, see how close you can get, and see if you can get there exactly. Right, let's have a look at that. So our target number was 671. These are the six numbers that we had to reach that target. So we did 25 add 5 to begin with. Let's tick those off. 25 add 5 is 30. 30 multiplied by 8 then multiply by 3, is 720, so 30 times 8, 3 times 8 is 24, so 30 times 8 is 240, multiply that by 3 is 720, then we've got 7 times 7, which is 49, which you know from our times tables, then you take 49 away from 720 and you get the target number, which is 671. Once again, there's lots of different ways to reach that target. So well done if you got that and you used a different method or that method. Okay, so let's look at our starter here. Okay, that one's fallen out a little bit. So the three questions, I've had to rearrange where the things are slightly, so I'm just going to tell you which one's which. Write the fraction as an improper fraction. That is this one. Number two, write the fraction as an improper fraction is the yellow bits in the circles, that should take up one of them. And then this one, the part whole model, is that bit. So pause the video and have a go at those questions and then I'll go through them with you. Okay, so the first one, write to the fraction as an improper fraction. So we have a hole here, that's all of it's full, it's split into three equal parts. This one's split into three equal parts. I'm looking at the bit that's shaded in blue. So we have one, two, three thirds, four thirds. So we have four thirds. If I wanted that as a mixed number, let's start doing that conversion practice now. So we've got four thirds, which is the same as one whole and one third. Okay, then we've got this one there, so write the fraction as an improper fraction. I know this bit went a little bit funny, but that's supposed to represent one, so just look through there, one part. So we have split into four parts, and we're looking at the yellow shading. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quarters. And then we have how many holes, just to do it as a mixed number as well, as so a practice. So we have one hole, two holes, and one quarter. Complete the part whole models. So the part whole models, remember these two bits at the bottom get added to make the total at the top. Two bits at the bottom added to make the total at the top. So we have here, we have to add our fractions. So five plus three, which is eight. We get eight fifths. And here we've got something add six is 11. We know it's six add five is 11, so you should have got five six for that one. And let's have a look at our work for the day. So we have here, remember each bar, split into parts represents a hole. So we have one hole shaded in, and then we have half of a hole, and then it's split into two equal parts, so these are halves. So we have one, two, three halves. Okay, this is an improper fraction, just to go over it. An improper fraction, is where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Remember, the numerator is the number at the top, and the denominator is the number at the bottom. So if this number is bigger than this one, it is an improper fraction. So then we're converting that to mixed number. So three halves is the same as one whole and one half. So this is a mixed number. It is a number with a whole and a fraction. So here we have the whole, one whole, and here we have the fraction, one half. 
So this is an improper fraction. This is a mixed number. Okay, so here we have our part whole model. Just have a little think to yourself, what do you do? So with a whole, we have the parts that make the whole. What do you do with those two things to get that? So you add them together. So we've got two holes plus a quarter, add them together, you get two and a quarter. So this is a mixed number because you've got your holes and you've got your fractions. Okay, so this is another way of looking at it. So we have, remember each bar is worth a hole. And if it's all shaded in, you get a hole. If it's not, then you get fractions. So we have one, two holes plus one quarter. Two holes, one hole, which is four fourths. Another hole, which is another four fourths, or four quarters. And then we have one quarter. So we have four quarters plus four quarters plus one quarter. I remember when you're adding fractions, you just add the numerator, the number on top, the number on the bottom stays the same. So four plus four is eight plus one is nine. So two and one quarter is the same as nine quarters. So two holes, one quarter is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quarters. Okay, so here, same task, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So can you, I don't that's completely full, I don't know why that's done that again, convert this into a, an improper fraction. So pause the video and have a go at that. Okay, let's have a look at this. So our mixed number is three holes and five eighths, and you can see one, two, three holes, and then five eighths here. So one way of working out the improper fraction is to count. And we can see that they are split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So they're going to be in eighths. So one lot of eight eighths, another lot of eight eighths, another lot of eight eighths, and then we have five eighths. So if we add them together, remember the numerators get added. The denominators do not, they stay the same and they're in eighths. So eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus five is 29. So 29 eighths is that as an improper fraction. I'm just going to show you a different method, which some of you might prefer. You can, you can definitely do this method, but there is another one, which I imagine we're going to go through later anyway, in a different lesson perhaps, but I just want to teach you it now, because I know through working with some of you in school that you prefer this method. So you can do all the adding, or you know that one hole is worth eight eighths and you've got three of those so another way of doing it is your whole number of holes you've got times the number on the bottom so three times eight i'll just put the number that we got over here so we got 29 eight so three times eight which is eight sixteen twenty four then you add the number on top so whole number times the bottom number add the top number whole number times the bottom number add the top number so three times eight is 24 and five is 29 so that is a different method that you could use if you haven't visualized it or if you don't want to do eight eights plus eight eights plus eight eights plus five eights so whole number times the times the denominator plus the numerator so you still get the same answer it's just a slightly different method Okay, so here we have an opportunity to have a go at the questions one and two on the worksheet. If you would like, if not, you can continue watching the video to the end rather than pausing it, doing questions and coming back, but that's entirely up to you and how you prefer doing your maths. Okay, convert the mixed numbers. Convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we have five and one sixth. This is an, a mixed number because we have the holes 
with a fraction. So we ought to do 5 and 1 6 to an improper fraction. So we're going to visualize that. So here we have five holes in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, yeah, let's split into six equal parts, all of them. And then we have a sixth. So here we have five lots of six sixths, which is 30 sixths. So you can get that by adding them. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 30. Or you can do 5 multiplied by the number at the bottom, which is 30. And then you've got your 1 sixth at the bottom. So 5 times 6 is 30. Add 1, is 31 sixths. So you can draw them out and count them. Or you can do whole number times denominator add numerator. Different methods, same answer. Okay, so pause the video here and see if you can work out converting these into improper fractions. Remember, you can draw them out if you want to. So you could draw your two holes with your fifths, with all the shaded in, and the four fifths at the bottom extra. Or you can do the whole number times the denominator and then add the numerator. Whole number times the denominator add the numerator. So pause the video, see what answers you get, and then come back to see if you were correct. Okay, so here we have two lots of five fifths for the holes, which is 10 fifths. And then you add the four fifths. So you're going to get 14 fifths. So thinking about that, two, the whole number, multiplied by the denominator, 2 times 5 is 10, add 4 is 14, 14 fifths. Remember, the denominator is always going to stay the same. And then we look at this side. Let's work out this way with the method we've been discussing and then look at the other method that pops up. So we've got 10 holes, so we do 10 times 6, which is 60, add the numerator, so 60, add 5 is 65. So we're expecting... 65, remember the denominator stays the same, 6, let's see what we get. So we get 10 lots of 6 sixes, because 6 sixes are holes, so we get 60 6. We've also got the 5 6 already there, so we add them all together, and we get 65 6. So it depends which way you think is easier. Well, I quite like the method where you just do whole number, times the denominator, add the numerator. But you choose the method that suits you best. Okay, so your activity has been assigned to you on Teams. The math sheets are being put on tapestry. So I know some of you had difficulty in printing them off of Teams. I'm not sure that is, and we don't seem to be able to rectify it, unfortunately. So they will continue to be put up on tapestry so that you can download them from there and print them. So have a go at those, then check if you've got them right on the answer sheet. If you haven't, then you can have a look at the video again to see if you can correct it that way. If not, then please come along to the feedback sessions so that we can talk you through how to get the right answer. It might be that you've made a tiny, tiny error, and then when you talk to someone about it, we'll be able to fix it really quickly. So make sure you ask for help if you need it. Thank you very much for all your hard work once again. Last time we looked, it was scheduled to snow on Monday. I'm recording this in advance. So maybe we are surrounded by snow. Hopefully we're surrounded by snow. Have a good evening or the rest of the day. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.